Well, now we are going to take a little look at each and every build that has been submitted for this little tournament. And we're going to make sure that they follow the rules. So, um, you've been waiting all along, Sauerkraut. This is your Winston. I... Yeah. Are you happy about it? I... How much metal did you use? Uh, all of it? <clears throat> <clears throat> he didn't. <laughs> this is a wooden shell with like three metal blocks on it or whatever. So uh, it would be an, it, it will be a nice target, but it looks very cool. So now I'm looking at the moving cylinder. Uh, Xabrakra, what does this advanced cylinder do? Nothing. Nothing. Literally nothing. It's just cosmetic. It's beautiful. Very beautiful and very cosmetic. Uh, so the turret looks real cool. Um, yeah, is there anything else like in terms of decorations we'll need to look at now? No, not really. Well then. Um, so how many repair bots do we have in here? You probably don't have more than uh, eight. 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 Well, that's perfect. Yep. Well, I'll double check that, of course. But here we have it. So let's move on to the next craft because this one is approved. And where the Winston goes, the Churchill follows. Boring joke. This is, uh, of course, my airship. Oh, indeed. This is the Churchill airship. And uh, because of that, it has a nice cross decorating the underside. And uh, yeah. Other than that, it's kind of basic, except these beautiful mimics that the Xauber crowd put on here, so that we can see that we are in the same team. And, well, to make sure that I follow the rules, you can see here, all my metal is in here, together with the repair bots. Or at least six of them. The other ones are located oh, on the other side, here. Everything is in here. So, um, we can just double check here, you can see it's, it's exactly 75,000 materials, so it's uh, really on point there. But, uh, well, that's just to show you, this is my beautiful airship and it does follow the rules. So, uh, I will approve my own airship, uh, or Xabrakra, will you approve it for me, because I don't think I can approve my own airship. Should I? I don't know. No. I'm not <coughs> sure, man. I, I think it's good enough. Thank you, Xaver. Moving on. Moving on to the gear grinders. This is uh, Ad Necrias Sobreda, which in testing has had a little bit of a problem of uh, tilting, we must say. But right now it's very stable. So we just fill it up with materials there. And uh, as you can see, we have basically wood and the material storage is just too much but uh, i mean we don't allow anything against that it's just that oh when he destroys target he will be able to pick up um ammo or stuff so that's kind of cool and here we have i believe that all of the metal armor is in the front we have a heavy steam drill going on here uh, let's see here. We have wood, 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 all along. Look at these beautiful spinning cogwheels. We have some nice use of decorations here for sure. Alright, so here we have all the repair bots in the AI core down here. We have metal, but seems to not be too much metal. Uh, it looks like much, but it's a single sheet, so it's very thin. It seems to be uh, following the rules very nicely. And this beautiful ship is approved. Next up, we have Sample Text Superior. And we also have the cool moving cogs on this build. Very nice. And we have uh, some turrets going on there. Uh, which is mostly metal plating here, so it's wood all through and through. Oh, interesting armor here. We actually got some uh, uh, some spiky wedge armor around the AI core here. 
That's kind of cool. Yeah, this is what you usually do with heavy armor, but heavy armor is very banned, so it is uh, not okay indeed. Um, but, well, this is okay, of course, because it's all wood. We have that, we have some tiny metal armor at the front, and some nice paintings going there. Right, so most of the armor is actually used to protect the cylinders for the uh, steam engine. Interesting. We can see that Sample Text has made a armor setup that would usually be used to counter Hesh <laughs> or Heat Shells. <laughs> they won't be present in this tournament, but uh, it's not a, a bad default move. And when you break up that, it will. Uh, I don't know, possibly limit damage spread, maybe, I don't think it really does much, but anyways, it's absolutely okay, it looks nice, and we have 62,800 materials, so we are way below the uh, maximum allowed limit. Well, what do you say, Xyvercrow, does this look approved to you? Up and down. Indeed it is. So, this beautiful craft is approved. Moving on. So, here we are with uh, Team Iced Coffee. And this is uh, Aleki Hakio's Lady Italia. So, we'll give it some materials just to get it going like that. Seems that it's uh, stabilized in a proper manner with proper propeller propellers. And uh, you remember from our Age of Sails tournament, Xaver? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, look at the bridge. <laughs> look. Ha! Ah. He has kept the panicking <laughs> crew member. <laughs> one is panicking, one is face palming. They have uh, drinks on the table <laughs> and some money. And they seem to be despairing a little bit there. <laughs> uh, oh wow, that's too funny. Okay. So, stabilization and everything like that looks absolutely fine. We have some cool tubing going on to the... Uh, uh, to, to the cannons and stuff like that. We have really big, quite big cramps there. We have a colorfully painted AI for some reason, and can I even see material? Can I, does this even contain metal, or has it just skipped on that? All right, so we looked through this build. It took a long time to find uh, metal, which is mostly on the side here. Uh, it's not too much, uh, not too much repair bots either. Seems to be absolutely fine. And this beautiful build is approved. Or what do you say, Xavier? I. Right, so how was your day? It's kind of cloudy here in Sweden, I don't know. Maybe I... great. <laughs> Damn, man, here in Germany, it's sunny as fuck, man. I, I kind of regret not going out, you know. It's like, god damn it. Very tasty iced Wait, coffee. Shit, shit, Jim out, Jim out, Jim out, Jim out. Stop, iced stop, coffee. stop. Oh, no, iced no, no, coffee. No, 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 I forgot. I forgot. I forgot why I can't go out. We are in a recording right now. Yeah, that's right. I was just thinking about it when I was drinking my iced coffee. This is this is this is from the team iced coffee. And um, yeah. well, so we need to decide if this is uh, follows the rules or not, right? Yes, yes, exactly. All right. Uh, <clears throat> one second. All right. Uh, me and Xaver both can't find anything that breaks the rules in this. I think that there might be a little bit of an overbelief in the power of metal plating. It's shit. But um, we are we don't limit metal plating, and it's all over the place, so that's fine. We just have a little bit of metal around the AI core, and that's basically that. So um, this one is approved. Very nice. Oh, and we didn't say that, but it's uh, Coffee Zombies McDoodlin's Pub and Plunderer, if you missed that. 
the min maxes. Oh yes. Here we have um, Baron von Kerov, and uh, it's from Fafel, and uh, we're going to check if it breaks anything. So we have a lot of wood and uh, truss blocks in here. Wow. Cramps going on here. This looks like it's set up to be a bombing run, to be honest. We'll see about that later. God, it's a lot of truss blocks in this thing. Truss and wood. Alright, so we can't find anything that breaks the rules. Uh, there is a lot of truss blocks in here. It's, uh, it's a hell to look through this thing with all the truss blocks and... God damn it, but uh, it's absolutely fine and definitely approved. Moving on. Alright, so this is Game Boy's um, little build. And uh, this, uh, what was it called? The Industrial... Industrial Dawn, yes. Um, it follows the same kind of principle that we've seen from uh, Game Boy before, which is uh, opting for min-maxing. And we have a big layer of... Uh, oh, interesting. So, you can, you can see the armor here. He spread out the metal armor to every second block, on, and on the other second block we have uh, metal plating. So he basically can cover the yeah. entire side with almost a sheet of metal. Yeah, okay, now that works. Spread them out real good like that. Lot of wood going on here, oh god, it's like two, three layers thick wood slab. All right, and some big ass cram turrets going on there with a lot of wood on them. Well, of course, because well, you can have as much wood as you want. It's uh, almost 70,000, 75,000, but not quite. And yeah, probably, um, yeah, you know, well. The metal plating won't probably do much, uh, except look like metal, but otherwise than that, it uh, looks to be absolutely fine. Or what do you say, Xarver? Does, yeah. Find any issues? No. Very nice. So, this little build is approved. Alright, so here we have the Sultans of Steelmire, and this is Cortez X uh, build, which is definitely a repurposed Age of Sail ships. And here we have your probably your probably only contestant when it comes to the amount of mimics. Or what do you think? <laughs> eh. No comment. Lots of mimics. Well, let's see here. We have plating going on here. Uh, probably more overtrust in the power of metal plating. Uh, wood is basically better, um, from what I know. And we didn't give it any materials, so it's tilting because uh, it can't stabilize itself. Poor thing. Alright, so we have been checking Cortez X builds here, and we find a small issue that actually technically breaks the rules. And that is that some of the alloy platings uh, are still there and we didn't allow alloy plating, it should be metal plating. But considering they have the same cost and the same health and alloy values, uh, armor values, it's a very small difference. Um, we're going to ignore this part because most of the plating is indeed metal and not alloy and it's just a few blocks that have been forgotten to be uh, switched to metal plating. But uh, to be honest it should have absolutely no effect on the outcome of any battle in this case, it doesn't matter. So we're going to have uh, overseeing with this small rule break and uh, basically approve this build. Or oh, what do you say, Xavier? Uh, 
I indeed he said, almost a little bit cut out, but uh, we should be moving on. Moving on, we're here with uh, LCG Canyon's Blunder Burst. So, let's have a little check with this thing. And like all the other builds, it's basically wood, wood, wood through and through. And this ship has an interesting little... Um, it's basically divided into two parts in this kind of interesting way with some chains and a connection arm going on there. This honestly looks very much like something from uh, uh, from the uh, what is it like the deep water guard, doesn't it? Yeah. It really does. It, I don't know. Maybe it's <laughs> maybe it's partly copied from the deep water guard. Who knows? All right. So what do we have? Pontoon things here. Oh my god. You see? Uh, okay, that's mimics. Okay, I thought he had exposed actual uh, ammo barrels out there. All right. So let us check a little bit here. Ba -ba -da -ba -da. We have quite some metal in the bottom here. We actually need to count and see if it's uh, not too much. Alright, we have looked through this little build and it was quite a bit of metal, but from our uh, calculations here, it's uh, basically just exactly the allowed uh, amount. So this thing is indeed um, approved. Very nice. Moving on. So here we are with the fuming boilers and uh, Fate Oris HMS Vanguard. So we have some cute wings going on here. You can see it kind of uh, has a little nice fishy feeling like that. We have metal as a type of ridge around the thing. So we're just gonna quickly calculate. It's uh, not way too much, of course, and. Yeah. Alright, we have looked through this build indeed. It looks like uh, there is a lot of metal on it, but uh, as you can see on the sides here, basically everything is just mimics. Uh, the real metal is inside of here and serves as some wedges to uh, improve the armor a little bit. So there we are. This beautiful build is approved. Alright, so we're looking through this thing here and uh, wow, this, look inside the balloons, Xaurokrau, look inside the balloons. <laughs> what? <laughs> look inside the balloons. There's, there's what? like a needle's yeah. nest of tetras. Oh my god. Wow. Oh god, okay. So these metal beams are basically mimics too. Uh, it's it follows the same principle. We have a cool rotating uh, cogwheel on this turret here. Oh man, I think I remember though. Wasn't this it, this was a steampunk tor turret that was spawned before? Uh, you know that was made before when we announced uh, this tournament several months ago uh, when we couldn't do it. Do you remember? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, the Snivel Lord posted this uh, turret in our Discord. You see, with a rotating cog. You see on the side on the ship? There is a small little yeah, turret yeah. there. Yeah. I, I remember it. <laughs> They're actually yeah, all, over <laughs> They're all, all, all over the place. But they, lo they look, look, look really cool. And if we look inside this thing, you can see, god damn it, this thing is a solid wood slab too, so that's kind of nice. And the back cramps, you said, Xavier, they're pretty powerful, right? Oh man, they are. Yeah, yeah. They are quite powerful indeed. But uh, it seems to be following the rules very nice, so uh, I guess this thing is indeed approved. All right, so here uh, we have the problem. The yeah, problem. you see oh, problems. Sorry. You see problems. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, as I say, that's the problem kit right here. <laughs> yeah, so now we are at the Indefatigables and this is Scovimation's Fading Light. So we basically checked out here and you can see these are metal blocks, all in all. Uh, all of it is metal and the maximum allowed limit for uh, the build is 256 cubic meters of metal and this is too much metal uh, we counted it I thought that maybe the ridge of this thing would exactly be 256 but when we look under it we can see we have a thick wooden uh, a thick keel out of metal beams going on here and a line going on here and it's more than 256 cubic meters of metal so I'm sorry, but uh, Scovimation, this build is uh, it's disqualified. Now I don't know if you read the rules, but we have a maximum of 256 cubic meters of metal armor that you can have, and uh, we see it's also metal on this turrets going on here. We have in our um, initial video basically just a little you know heads up on how to count basically uh, so half a metal block is half the cubic meters because it has half the health so here we also have like real metal blocks going on there so what you could do is take this build and basically go inside of uh, excuse me this menu click V and we have uh, armor refit so change from metal to wood and refit like everything maybe it's not working because of multiplayer take that in mind but yeah maybe it's not working because of multiplayer but that's how you're supposed to do it but we'll move on to review fading lights um, no, Light of the Worlds build from uh, Indefatigables, so yeah. Alright, so this balloon spanning craft uh, does indeed cause some huge lag for Xavrocrow. I'm fine with my 60 FPS, but they're really lagging around here. Holy cow, it's 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 a lag fest. Um, it really relies on the revolving blast guns that stick down here. Uh, I didn't even know they could shoot through cross blocks, but apparently they can. So there we're going on and uh, checked inside of it uh, to the best of my ability because damn. But uh, there doesn't seem to be many metal blocks here. We only have some here and there. Um, here we have some. Let's see here. But it's not. It's not a lot of them. Just a little bit there and on the turret. It seems to be fine. It seems to be fine. Uh, I'm wondering if it will shoot itself with some of those blast guns. But, uh, well, that's not up to... It's not a problem in regards to, to the rules. It seems to be okay. Um, it's kind of pointy. Uh, it will drag it down, but whatever. Um, here we of course have a porthole, which is counted as a metal block with a camera inside, but that works fine. Uh, Xabrocross game crashed, is that right? <laughs> uh, yep. Yeah, yeah, it did. All uh, well, this thing causes lags. Um, it seems to be fine, uh, but uh, yeah, it's laggy, but uh, we didn't put any upper limit on how many balloons you could have, but uh, yeah. It's definitely a ballooned atrocity, which uh, suits the name. But in any case, uh, this thing is approved, but of course, um, Scovimation has made a illegal build, so um, that build has to be fixed before, you know, this team can participate. We also got some metal going on here on the... Yeah, let's see here. So maximum 64 mm, cubic meters, uh, no, the maximum 64 um, of these metal blocks. It seems to be okay like that, but maybe, maybe fading, um, light of the world, you can 
like double check it seems to be okay so I'd say it's approved but the Scovimation's build is still disqualified so the team in the Fatigables is disqualified until we receive the fixed version and if you want to fix a version uh, it doesn't really matter which of you will submit it it can either be Scovimation the original builder or light of the world um, but uh, that pal steamer definitely needs to be fixed because it uh, it breaks the rules and this thing lags so much but it doesn't break the rules so it uh, it's approved but of course you as a team has to fix that uh, pal wheeler in order to uh, be able to um, have your team uh, appear in the tournament well, Xavier Crowd, do you have anything else to add? No, I don't. No, your your game crashed because of all of these balloons. <laughs> yep. They did. In any case, I hope you enjoyed this little uh, review and uh, check up of all the builds. And uh, we hope to get a uh, fixed version of uh, the Pal Wheeler from Indefatigables. Other than that, um, we'll wait for response uh, on that, and after that, we will indeed decide the uh, date for the battle. And the date for the battle um, will be announced on Discord and Steam, and uh, no, not Steam, Discord and uh, YouTube, of course. And we will probably do it as a live stream, or what do you say? I uh, probably yeah yeah probably otherwise it will be a video or a series of them but probably not too many in any case hope that you like this little video and if you have any opinions about our tournament or how we will conduct it please put them in the description this is Jimodism and Double Crow signing out bye 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 Team Psych and Loop Scribe, consisting of Jim Rissms, Churchill Airship, and Xavier Krause, Winston Paddlewheeler. Our next team is the Gear Grinders, consisting of Sample Texts Superior, and Ad Necrias Sobreda. Our next team is Iced Coffee, consisting of Alec Ihakio's Lady Italia, and Coffee Zombies, McDoolin's Pub and Plunder. Our next team is the Sultans of Steelmire, consisting of Cortez X Zebra Clan, and LCG's Blunderburst. Next up we have Team Steamed Crab. Consisting of Favfolds, Baron von Keroff, and Game Boys Industrial Dawn. Next up, we have the team Fuming Boilers, consisting of Snivelord's Harbringer of Brass, and Fate Ori's HMS Vanguard. And lastly, but not leastly, we have the Team Indefatigables. Consisting of Scoobimation's Fading Light. And Light of the World's Balloon Atrocity.